Hey guys, this is Sam. And Jake. And today we are taking a look at just about everything that is new and changed in iOS 8 Beta 4. There's really a ton to talk about, so without further ado, let's jump right into these changes. First off, definitely the biggest new change feature, or whatever you want to call it in iOS 8 Beta 4, is the completely redesigned, and I would even have to argue reimagined, Control Center. Of course, the button placements are extremely familiar if you've used Control Center ever, but you can see it's a great new design. Some people love it, some people hate it. Uh, personally, I'm one of the people who love it. I think it looks really good against iOS 8. The iOS 7 Control Center just felt iOS 7-like. On iOS 8, Notification Center still has the same design, but taking a look at what Apple changed and what they did with Control Center in iOS 8 Beta 4, I really wouldn't be surprised if they did the same thing with Notification Center at some point down the line. Some point down the line, because right now the new Control Center and the almost dated-looking Notification Center really just don't look all that great, uh, in my opinion. But of course, you can have your opinion. Let me know what you think of the new Control Center right down below in the comments section. Are you a fan? Do you like it? Do you love it or do you hate it? I would love to hear your thoughts on iOS 8 Beta 4. Next up, we've got yet another new app on our home screen. If we head over to my little extra section on my home screen, in that folder, there is a brand new tips app that Apple just added in their latest beta to iOS 8.0 at the time of creating this video. And if we go ahead and launch that up, you can see if you swipe uh, from right to left, you can get about six tips at a time. Uh, it does say at the end of, if you swipe through all six pages on the seventh extra page, it does say that new tips will be added each and every single week, which I think is really cool because a lot of people who don't know a ton about iOS will be able to learn a whole lot more with this just incre incredibly simple tips app, I think this is going to be awesome because people are going to know how to use their iOS 8 or just iDevices better than ever on iOS 8. Taking a look at some more changes in this update, we are nowhere near finished, guys. There's, like I said before, a lot new in this update. But in the main panel of the settings app, if we go down, there's a new option called display and brightness. If we tap on that, you can see we've got a brightness slider with auto brightness and also a text size and bold text area. They moved this out of access accessibility and moved it into this new display and brightness section. You can see you've got a really cool looking icon in settings, but what doesn't make sense in this update is they also left the brightness slider under the wallpaper section. So why you would have two different area areas in the same app to control brightness, uh, I honestly don't know. It doesn't make sense at all to me, but I could definitely see that being changed at some point in the future. Taking a look at always with every single iOS beta that is out there, it seems like there's something changed or new in the settings app every single time, and iOS 8 beta 4 is no different. Some more changes other than the new display and brightness section is that under settings in general, the handoff and suggested, app, suggested apps now has its very own section with three different toggles, one for handoff, one for my apps and one for the app store and also new in the settings app if we head over to our privacy section we've got a new icon for home data something extremely small there but i don't know it's just something about that little home data icon i really like the way it's been designed next up if we head over to the app switching view double clicking the home button will make that appear and the animation is just a little slower than before as i was actually using ios 8 beta 3 Earlier today, I always thought, I wonder just why that multitasking invoking animation is just so much faster than anywhere else uh, on my device. But now that has been fixed and iOS 8 beta 4 feels definitely a lot more natural in this latest beta update. And also if we head over to the contacts at the very top, we've got some new icons. For example, if I go on the iUpdate OS contact, the phone and messages icons are changed just a little bit than before. And the last thing that we are talking about in this video is that there is a new emoji icon on your keyboard system wide that you'll be able to notice it looks, I would argue, slightly happier than before. Maybe he's happy about the new control center in iOS 8 beta 4. But if you did enjoy watching this video, as always, feel free to click the like button down below if you want to see these changes that I've talked about in this video and more if they are discovered head over to the blog post right down below in the description. It'll shoot you over to a blog post on this website where you can maybe see some more changes in iOS 8 beta 4. But thanks a lot for watching this video. Subscribe for more awesome iOS content, and I'll see you guys later.